Welcome to another <clears throat> to another vlog video. I'm very tired. It's not very late. It's only 7:15, but I'm very tired, and thus I am somewhat wonky. Uh, wonky enough to have decided to have kept this really, really crappily made Bentley. Because I really, really like it. Despite the fact that, now that it's actually out of the box, you can kind of tell. It fit a whole dang finger in between the wheel and the actual body of the car. It's not very well constructed, but it does do this. That's a horrible sound. I don't know. I like it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I am a little bit wonky right now, so don't... Don't worry about me. I also have the hiccups and a strange form of burp, burp coughing caused by Dr. Pepper. Because I don't often drink soda. And now that I do drink soda, or when I do drink soda... For some reason, it immediately gives me violent hiccups. So if I ever need my stomach pumped, I could probably just drink like two liters of Sprite, and then the entirety of my intestines would just go, and then just eject out of me. Just like they were never needed. Yeah, pop, pop and soda don't. They, they don't do too well for me. Tell me in the comments whether you call it pop or soda. Because obviously my first thought was pop. Is it yours? Tell me down below. Like and subscribe. Etc. Ah. Alright. Let's get into the day. So. Woke up. About. 3 a.m. Yep. Might be why I'm tired. <laughs> uh, hang on in bed. I might have fallen asleep for like 20 more minutes at some point during my laying down in bed continuously. But uh, got out of bed about 5.15, got dressed, went to PT, uh, and it was a push day. Talking like this really hurts my upper jaw. Because <laughs> it's the one doing the landing. Ah! <clears throat> Why did I do that? Uh, but yeah, it was a push day. So I got to do more bench press, which I really enjoy, despite the fact that we do really high repetitions of it. Doing 24 reps of really light weight, but it's benching. It's really annoying. I did, what was it? I think 110, 115 pounds, something like that. But I mean, 24 times when you're barely awake before 6 a.m., you're all tired and bit. Wore me out. So for the rest of the workout, I didn't do a huge amount. I did like, did some bicep curls. I did some like overhead, like, you can't see that. I forget that my movement is mirrored. Like lift it over your head and like clack the weights together. But like on a decline. So, so like that. Um, I just broke my chair. Uh, yeah, I did some of those. Uh, I did one of those machines where you push up and out. You also couldn't see that, but that's okay. Uh, that was that was strange. That was in a room I've never even been in in the gym before. Uh, after PT, we didn't know where the keys for our TMP, which is our little car we drive to work, uh, we didn't know where the keys were for that. And then all of a sudden, my sergeant remembered, oh yeah, it's in maintenance. Hey, uh, Newt, uh, uh, Newt, 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 Boop, Boop. It's a word here. You. I promise I'll go to bed after this. Hey, you. Hey, you, can you go... Can you go find the can you go find the keys somewhere in your room? And I was like, they're not in my room. And he was like, Oh yeah, it's in maintenance. Uh can you um can you go find the car? And I didn't know what building it was in. So I just wandered around 
a, a, a part of the base for like a while asking different Korean people where to go because it's all staffed by Koreans and they're they're great people they're super helpful but I'm already really hard of hearing and they tend to talk really quietly and with a thick accent like like my my brother-in-law Jogo he is great guy great guy every now and again he talks really really quietly and he is Brazilian, so he's got a, a thick accent on him sometimes when he speaks certain words. And I'll just hear him talk, and I'll be like, huh? And he'll repeat it, and I'll be like, huh? And he'll repeat it, and I'll be like, huh? And it, this, will, this will go on for some time, because we're both going to sit there and just continue doing the same thing until something changes. Like the de definition of insanity. You hear me? I almost said definition, because that's a word. I'm dying. Uh... What was I talking about? All right. Uh, so I was wandering around trying to understand the directions from the people who were being super helpful and, like, totally putting up with my American, uh, like, unknowingness of where I was going in their country. They were like, oh, yeah, just go to this place. Then the next person would be like, no, not this place, this place. And the next person would be like, no, not this place, that place. Oh, no, not this place. Call these people. <laughs> and so uh, eventually I, I found myself waiting at a little, like, help desk and some ladies helped me out and they were like oh yeah your car isn't going to be ready until the 2nd of December and it's the 29th of November as I say this which means I'm the only one in my office with any form of transportation because I own a scooter as has previously been said in my videos I am the only one in my office with any form of transportation so if anything needs to be done <laughs> For the next three days, where it would require someone going somewhere, that's now my job. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> so I have that to do now. Uh, at work today, mostly just sorted out that. Uh, got a couple of assignments, little things we're going to be working on in the office, uh, like redesigning a coin. I'll give you more details on that uh, after I know more. Uh, I'm going to be apparently overseeing the office YouTube channel because we have one that we haven't used in four years. Uh, no one at the office knows anything about this channel. Uh, they just arbitrarily chose me because I didn't know what... Oh, what was that? Flickr? My sergeant kept saying we were going to put photos on Flickr. I didn't know what that was. And I was like, why not just put it on like YouTube? And he was like... Ah, oh, yes, that reminds me. You're in charge of the YouTube now. I was like, oh, 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 oh all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> so I was fiddling with that for most of the time towards the end of the day. Got home, took my shower. As you can see, didn't comb my hair afterwards. Because why would I? That would require thinking ahead. Uh, then I just ate a bunch of snacks. Ah! I shouldn't have itched whatever that was on my head. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. My, my left eye just went super blurry. Like as if I didn't have my glasses on. That was weird. I should go to bed. <laughs> but I didn't do anything interesting with the day. So I don't know what the title is going to be. <laughs> oh shoot. I did do things interesting with my day. In the morning and at lunch I called... Dr. Pepper, why would you do this to me? Uh, in the morning, uh, I called my dad to say Happy Thanksgiving. and Well, he, he t texted me, and then we called. I'll just make it fair. He called. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't credit myself with that. <laughs> he, he called me and was like, yeah, Happy Late Thanksgiving. Sorry I didn't say anything. And I was like, I didn't do anything on Thanksgiving. I had the day off on Thanksgiving. I probably should have called my family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> But he, he he was very much in the mindset that he had messed up. And I was like, no, Dad, I, I, I didn't call you, so don't sweat it. <laughs> so we just talked for a little while. Uh, and during lunch, I called my sister. And that was mostly made up of <laughs> me just seeing my dog again. <laughs> I, I haven't seen my dog in a full year because I've been away from home. Uh, and my dog is a ridiculous... Chihuahua Shih Tzu Mix, who is the most 
dominant little privileged puppy to ever exist. When we first got her, she had this little trick where she would be on her belly, asking for belly rubs, and she would go like this. As like a please pet me kind of a thing. Now it's just one paw will go as like a signaling. Yeah, come here. Yeah, rub my belly. Yeah, you know you will. Come here, give me some snacks. I am moving for you. I'm in charge here. Come rub my belly. <laughs> it's 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 so funny. She's so so spoiled. <laughs> and so it was just a, a good twenty minutes of my and she she flops like a cat. Like you know how when you like pick up a cat, it's just a liquid. Like it's just like I don't want to be lifted. Yeah, our dog does that now. And like if you try to lift up her paw, it's just like like it's magnetized down to the ground. Like stop touching me, I don't want to be touched. And you know, like maybe lift her head up and she'll just and set it back down as if you inconvenienced her greatly. She's she is such a little spoiled princess, and it's hilarious to watch. Uh, so that was that, that was a fun little thing. I was figuring I could put that in my title somewhere because I love my dog. She's hilarious. Uh, and I didn't do anything interesting today other than unbox a Bentley. <laughs> Excuse me. Which in other contexts would be really cool. Unfortunately, my Bentley is uh, 5% of the size and was $15. <laughs> It doesn't work. It isn't a remote control, which I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Not a super crazy day. Not a super interesting day. But it was nice to it was nice to talk to my sister again. It was nice to talk to my dad again. Both good to see. Uh, I did... Oh, I forgot about this. I did find a... Uh, I won't dig too much into the car part of it. I'll try to not make it about cars, but it is about cars. Uh, on Facebook Marketplace... I found a car that's worth about $5,000 in really nice condition listed for $20,000. And when you see stuff like that, uh, as a car person like me, I send that to my other car buddies and I'm like, ha ha, look at this idiot. And then my car buddies are like, ha ha, look at that idiot. And then we just laugh at that idiot for a while. But this time I actually took the initiative of contacting the idiot and sending the idiot a screenshot of an ad of exactly the same car as theirs, except with 50,000 more miles and a little bit of paint peeling on the hood. $4,200. And I really wanted to be rude about it. I really did. I wanted to send them a picture of that and then say, so does your car come with a complimentary 15 grand? I just wanted to be so rude about it, but I couldn't help myself. I had to be at least a little bit polite. So I basically just <laughs> I basically just made it out that I was assuming they were some senile old crazy person <laughs> by saying stuff like, hey, uh, I just wanted you to know, uh, I thought I'd bring it to your attention that this ad is listed for $20,000. Uh, did you mean to do that? For a Buick, I think I think that was like my exact message at one point, and uh, well, I like I sent them this screenshot and I said, uh, just an example, just for some context, screenshot. These normally go for about five grand in good condition. Uh, did you make some kind of typo? And then they saw it, didn't respond, and twenty minutes later they took the. Uh, they took the car down from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they removed the item. <laughs> so I'm assuming the lady that was selling it had that conversation, saw that screenshot, walked over to her husband who had promised her it would be worth 20 grand. Oh yeah, honey, we can, we can buy this new motorhome. I'll just sell the Buick. That thing's a collectible. It'll be worth 20K. Easy. <laughs> I'm just imagining like she took it to her husband like, you're returning that fishing boat. And then just took it down from the marketplace. Just imagining that my, my polite sassiness has just collapsed a marriage somewhere in rural America. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's the first time I've actually acted on seeing some complete fool uh, put their car up for way too much money on marketplace. And you know what? It was worth it because that was 
hilarious for me and my buddy to laugh at. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's just about every interesting thing I can think of. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make this one start with a letter that I haven't used yet. We'll see. I mean, we're 30, what, 32 episodes in now? Hey, look at this go, huh? One whole month. That is insane. One whole month. I have almost never done one thing for an entire month of my own, you know, volition. Check me out, huh? <sighs> Ooh, first milestone. Now I just need to finally edit audio. <laughs> someday I will research that. I promise I will. It'll happen someday. Just not soon. <laughs> I also have some thumbnail ideas that I want to do to spruce up the thumbnail, because right now it's just pictures. Uh, but now that I have a subscription to actual Adobe products, I can improve that a good amount. So, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to end this video now, because it has lasted too long already, which it always does. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed somehow. Uh, when I say hope you enjoy, I definitely don't mean leave a like or subscribe. I definitely mean I hope you can manage to enjoy this video if you watch it. <laughs> If you read my descriptions at all, they all say something along the lines of like, hey, hope you enjoy. This is, that's not the waiter coming up to you and saying, enjoy your meal, and then setting it down. That's the waiter coming up to you and being like, this is burnt to hell. I hope this is edible, and I sincerely, sincerely wish that you don't get food poisoning from it. Good luck. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> like that's kind of how I feel about these videos just somebody out there uh, some great friends of mine are just putting themselves through watching this nonsense and I appreciate you greatly thank you uh, the two views that I get on these videos it, it honestly warms my heart so thank you very much for watching all the way to the end whatever time it may be wherever you are in this crazy world of ours whether it be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whatever applies to you, I just hope it's good. I sincerely hope that is true. Uh, I sincerely hope, comma, that is true. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. I'm sure if my English teachers could see this, they wouldn't be very proud of me, but, you know, whatever, it works. I'm just a journalist. Don't worry about it. I don't have to make sense when I say things. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video yet again. If you're seeing this for the second time, you are probably one of the most dedicated people out there. So I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart. Stay frosty.